guys, welcome back to another Living It Up Blind video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marissa and I am legally blind, so I make a lot of blind related videos. If that's something that interests you, then please consider sticking around, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell to get notified of whenever I upload new videos. So in this video, um, Alex and I are going to give you guys five basic cooking tips for visually impaired people who are interested in learning how to cook uh, or just is a little scared of cooking. So we hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get to the video. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna uh, be preparing a nice simple curry. And which begins at tip number one is to read the recipe. So I found a recipe online for curry and I kind of like went through that and I memorized it. So that's number one, is to get your real recipe read. And which brings me to number two, is to get all your all your ingredients that you're gonna need and prepare them. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna need tomatoes and peppers and all that stuff. So I'm chopping them now. I can have them ready when I'm ready to go. So right now we need to still chop these vegetables well, we're gonna like blend all this tomatoes and peppers together into like a tomato sauce tip number three is familiarizing yourself with your equipment and your cook space so for example i am going to make sure that nothing is in the way uh, perhaps i have this big uh comand that i don't want in the way so i'm gonna move that and put that in the sink and make sure that my um pot that I'm going to be using is right on the on the burner even even before I turn it on and, and nothing's around the burner yeah and making sure that I don't have anything else around the burner uh like this bowl is a little too close for my own personal comfort and it's plastic so I don't want that there and yeah just move any items that are in the way as well as making sure that you have um tactile markings on your stove top so you're able to tell whether it's um where the high, medium, low are on your stove top as well as um, your oven if you're using that. That's very important. In my case, I use tactile markers, but you may use something else. Uh, you also want to know what you have around your workspace. So um, your veggies and your seasonings and things you're going to be using, you want to make sure they're in a, in a nice order so it's easier for you when you're ready to add them into your pot. That's fair. All right. Tip number four involves when you're already in front of the stove here and it's kind of hot and for a lot of people this can be a little, you know, a little bit scary when you can't see what you're, what you're like reaching for. And I got some oil here that I'm going to like fry some fish a little bit in. And so I want like if I want to be able to find my pot, I use like a cane technique where I use a wooden spatula. I may not want to use a plastic one for this because it might melt. but. Um, which do is you basically use your, your wooden spatula as a cane. So you, you know, you touch your pot and then, see I found my handle. Uh, also to make sure that your, your pot is directly on the burner. Um, you can make sure like this, you know, go around, make sure that's like on the burner. For mine, it feels like it's somewhere on the burner. It's pretty, pretty well on there. So I gotta put my fish in there cause my oil is hot. So I'm gonna do that now. This is a little more uh, crazy because I'm using oil, but there we go. Tip number five is safety. If you are a person with long hair, you might want to pull that into a ponytail or a bun. Another thing is that I wouldn't recommend you wearing long sleeves or any accessories that can hang off your body because you don't want to have it caught onto your pan or pot or even hang into your your food or the fire. I mean, that just could be very hazardous. Another thing would be making sure that the handle of your pot or your pan is away from you, preferably to your left or to your right, depending on whether you are right-handed or left-handed. So yeah, that is um, what I would consider the safety. So that was our five tips 
and we hope that that um, that they will encourage you to go out there and get cooking and make something and experiment in the kitchen and you probably make something really good or you will probably make something so horrible that your dog <laughs> won't want to eat it so you know so an experiment so, so get in the kitchen and get to cooking if you guys liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave us any comments down below if you guys use these tips or not and we'll catch you guys in our next video bye